All right, y'all see him. That's the Hall of Fame trainer, Freddie Roach, trainer of Manny Pacquiao. How's it going, Freddie? Great. It's good. Just face uh, close and really anxious. Wait. All right. Uh, how's training? How did training camp go? And how's Manny looking? We had our best training camp I think we've ever had. I've never seen Manny any better. Uh, our last day boxing was on uh, Monday. We're going to go four or five rounds. After two rounds, I pulled him out. I said, That's it, you're ready. He's got the game planned out. He's 100%. I mean, uh, he, Absolutely. I, mean, he, I do believe you know, Claudio's a tough guy, durable guy, but we, we, we're going to make him quit. We're gonna make him quit. Yes, will. That will be the first ever, the first opponent to make a tough, rugged, welterweight quit in the ring. I've seldom seen him hurt. Uh, what exactly in this game do you feel you can expose where Manny can hurt him and make him quit? He's got a great chin. I, I know that, but we're gonna really dig the body, break him down, and the number of punches that Pacquiao throws, he's not used to. It. I mean, he's he's kind of good conservative with his punches. And Pacquiao's gonna just like a machine gun. And, uh, he's just gonna overwhelm him, I, I feel. And uh, the, the lateral movement is gonna really throw him off because he's gonna have to keep picking his feet up and resetting. We're not gonna let him set all night long. Uh, we, we're gonna make it look easy. All right. It's not uh, easy, but we're gonna make it look that hey, way. Hey, if anybody can make it happen, it's you and Pacquiao. Uh, we're gonna make a statement, I think, in this fight. And Floyd, come to the table. I heard that. Well, I, I heard you saying that the game plan was to move in and out, use lateral movement, and Pacquiao is strong. I'm sorry, he is fast of hand and foot as well as a big puncher, especially for a guy his size. But Pacquiao does have a tendency to want to take risks and stand in front of his opponent because he trusts that speed and power. What would you do if Pacquiao is actually in a point of the fight where he actually stands in front of Joshua Claudio. Well, we don't plan on doing that, but you know, sometimes fighters see things in there, like Makoto, he wanted to prove to take his punch. I said, Manny, don't do that in this one, but if he, if he feels the need, he will do it. But, you know, it, the thing is, as long as he's in his comfort zone and he knows what he's up to, and he, he, I, I'm okay with it, because he, sometimes we see things outside, that they don't see inside, and vice versa. He sees things that we don't see sometimes. But, and, you know, I, 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 I let my fighters go at that point because they, they, they have some characteristics. You know, I, I train my fighters similar, but everyone brings their own, their own personality into that style. So and Pacquiao has perfected it because of his speed and his movement, of course. So that's why he's the best, one, the best one out there right now. The but, best one in the world. Um, that's right. But if he, you know, if he feels the need to go to the ropes with Claudio, we're going to do it a little better than we do with Cotto because we're going to set a trap for him this time instead of just going there and taking the punch. So when you see Pepango go to the ropes this time, I'm setting something up. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Okay, well, you've been on record several times saying that you're going to stop Joshua Clotty, uh, and it seems like you've awakened a sleeping giant. Are you trying to get under his, his feathers a little bit so he'll rush in, do something stupid, possibly get knocked out early? Of course. <laughs> I mean, because I get his trainer plenty days who says we're going to go for early knockout now. It's working already. All so right. <laughs> these guys, they shouldn't listen to me. All right. Well, you know, you have been I, famous. Because I respect Claudia and I like him a lot. He's a great guy. But, I, you know, I'm, I have a lot of confidence in my fighter, though. As and, well as uh, you should. You know, the thing is, if I can get an edge somewhere, I'll... I'll take whatever I can get. Okay. Well, you had um, Sean Porter and Rashad Holloway and a lot of guys in, in camp yeah. every fight out. Are those some of the same guys who were in camp with you this time to prepare them for Joshua Clotty? Yeah. Um, well, those two guys and I had, like, uh, had a couple of guys from, from Ghana, Africa, as far as I brought in. Nice. Who fight just like Clotty. They are actually, they were Olympic teammates of Clotty. So we, we get our bases covered. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Well, you are uh, Eddie Futch protege. We all know that. The world knows your story. You're a Hall of Fame trainer, probably the, the most respected trainer in the world. What did you? What would you think Eddie Futch would say today if he was alive to see the success that you've had thus far? Well, I thank him for all my success because he's. I try to be a clone of Eddie Futch because I, I, I you know, he's my trainer for ten years and then I worked for, for five years as his number one assistant. And uh, thanks, to Eddie, I'm where I'm at today. And you know what? He'd be here. Maybe he's probably in this room with us. Right. Yeah, help me think this out because, you know, like sleep isn't that great right before a fight because 
I can't go to sleep till I have all my bases covered and I have to go through every scenario. So, and, and, he's, and he's a big part of my life still. Okay, well, I'm actually one more question. Uh, years ago, when I used to watch Pacquiao fight, he had tough fights with Nadal Hussein, Agapito Sanchez. I would have never known that he would go on to, to, to defeat possibly every Mexican legend of this era. Can we solely thank you for that, Freddie Roach? No. Um, the bell rings, I sit down, he fights. Okay. And one thing about me and Pacquiao, he, he told me, you can get me ready for the fight, but it's up to me to win the fight. And that, when he made that statement, that's the most true statement in the world. It's up to the fighters to, you know, to have trust in me and listen and so forth. But when he gets in that ring, it's, I'm, I'm, out of that, I'm out of control. It's up to him. And that's why we need to give Manny Pacquiao the credit and not me so much. Because Pacquiao, he fights, I sit down. <laughs> that's why he's the fighter of the decade. Any closing thoughts for the fans, Freddie? Just thanks for your support. Um, it's great here in Dallas. If you get a chance to see the stadium, don't miss it. It's like, it's like his own little city. It's great. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Thanks, man.